All the liberals and unions are proud of themselves for gathering a bunch of signatures to recall Governor Scott Walker in Wisconsin. But I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get signatures on a petition to recall a governor. Get in the newspaper. You got to That's good. You'll sign our you're you reading the newspaper. You're very informed then. Will you sign a petition to recall the governor. Uh, governor uh, Governor Walkman of Wisconsin. It's governor Scott Scott Walkman. He's trying to bust up all the unions and everything, so just sign and uh, I just need a few, few signatures here. I mean this guy, I know what he's trying to do. this guy has said that he doesn't like Mexican food. I, I know, I know. And, oh, signature, signature too. Who doesn't like Mexican food? I mean. Well, that's, a lot of people don't like Mexican food. That, that's oh, not the thing. Yeah, that's, that, that was the last straw for us, so I appreciate that. I mean, Governor Scott Walkman is just a scumbag. I mean, he says he doesn't like Mexican food and just causing all sorts of problems. So. What's today's date? Uh, birth date, not oh, today's birthday. date. Yeah. And I mean, some people, some people just put up with anything. A uh, signature too, please. It's time for Governor Walkman to, to go. Governor Thompson in Wisconsin, there's a, he's a big anti-union guy. He's trying to bust up all the unions and get everybody to you know, he wants to increase unemployment, apparently. So um, I'm just trying to recall the, just a just a name and a signature. So no no ID or anything needed. You don't need to read it. You can. I have to read it. Oh. You have to sign something without reading it. Oh come on. It's un-American. <laughs> I see. You. So you really don't like this guy, huh? Well, no. I mean, he's busting up the unions and I don't know much about him. causing all sorts of problems. And so we've hit the streets to shut him down. Try to encourage people in Wisconsin to do something? Yeah. Well, we can, we can do that, too, and submit it over there, and we're all good. Thanks. Sure. Okay. She actually said she was going to read it before she signed it, but she only read the first sentence of the petition, which reads... Citizens in the state of California under authority of the First Amendment of the Constitution have decided to organize a petition to recall the governor of Wisconsin, which makes no sense at all. Then the second sentence goes on to say, this makes no sense, of course, and this funny petition is for my YouTube video. Okay, and then it just goes on to say that this is a total joke. So she said, oh, I'm going to read it first. And so all she did is read the headline and read the first sentence, and then she signed it. Hi, sign the petition to recall the governor. We're just throwing all the scumbag politicians out of office. So okay. it's time that Thompson in Madison gets the boot. No more job for him. I mean, this guy has said the most ridiculous things. I don't like Mexican food, all the stuff. It's time to go. Okay, good luck. Thank you. I just need a couple more signatures to recall the governor, and then we can call it a day. Throwing all scumbag. You want to sign the petition to recall the governor, too? Throwing all dirty politicians out of office. Just a name and a signature is fine. Um, Governor Tommy Tommy Thompson up there, Madison. I mean, he's said he doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't eat pizza and all this other stuff. So it's time to throw him out of office. What kind of a governor can we have who doesn't eat pizza, right? Thank you. Just sign the petition, I just need a few more signatures, just to recall the governor. We're throwing all the politicians out of office, all the scum, and ruining our country. Just sign, sign and date. It's just to recall the governor. Um, once we submit X amount of signatures, it'll get on the ballot. And we're just a concerned, concerned citizens of uh, California. Just a name and a signature is good. All I need is this last so page. So recall the governor of Wisconsin, right? Well, yeah, it's uh, Scott, Governor Scott Walker. I'm sorry, I didn't make that clear. Um, he's trying to bust up the unions and do all this stuff. So just, just a name and a signature is good. I gotta go pretty soon. If you could just hurry up, that would be great. Can't sign without reading. Okay, why? Do you don't know, trust me? I mean, it says right here, petition to recall the governor project. You got pages and pages of signatures. Just sign and date. You don't even have to show me any ID. Appreciate that. Hey man, your pen doesn't work. Does it? <laughs> 
thought I came prepared. No phone number, email, we won't do anything, we won't call you. <clears throat> this guy said some of the most ridiculous things, so we're throwing them out. Thank you, bro. Got him up. Appreciate it. Governor Tommy Thompson up there in Madison says he doesn't want to eat Mexican food. and I mean, I could see maybe not putting the beans and stuff in your burrito, but who doesn't eat burritos? We'll tell me about it. So that's the last straw for us. It's time to throw him out of office. We need to... We need somebody who eats Mexican food up there. You got it. Thanks, man. Real quick, just recalling the governor. Said some bad things about Mexican people, and it's time for him to go. Just <laughs> Give to me a second. Let me go order real oh, quick. I just, I gotta, I'm going to have to move on real quick. So just, just a signature. There you go. And, uh, oh, signature. Signature. You know, you say you don't eat burritos, and you're my governor. You're out of a job. <laughs> Folks, if you're going to recall a sitting governor, you should at least know who he is, what state he is, why you want to recall him. You want to recall the governor because he doesn't eat burritos? These people wanted to recall the governor because he doesn't eat pizza? And then the, 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 the handful of people that actually said, I don't sign anything unless I read it first. So they started to read. You know what they read? They read the first sentence. If they were to continue reading, the second sentence says, this makes no sense, of course, because this funny petition is for my YouTube video. And then it goes on to explain that this is a joke. Way to go, America. And you wonder why this country's gone down the toilet. A bunch of a nation of zombies.